Okay, so let's go into some examples now. So here I have this box, and I see some lines, and I see some of those right angle boxes indicating perpendicular. So for this first one, it says to find lines or li line or lines parallel to CD and containing point A. And so I have CD right here, and I want to find a line that's parallel to it containing point A. So I know from my definition that parallel means that they're coplanar, so they're on the same plane, and they don't intersect. And it wants me to find one that has point A. So here's point A. I see AD obviously is not going to work, it intersects. AG or AH won't work. They don't intersect CD, but they're not on the same plane. And so that leaves AB. Okay, now for the next one, I'll find the lines or lines skew to CD and containing point A. So now for skew, I want to find, that means that those lines aren't going to be on the same plane as CD. So that means AD and AB are out because they are on this same plane with CD. And so that leaves AH and AG, and I see both of those do work. Because if I were to extend out AH, I see it's never going to intersect CD, but it's also not on the same plane. And then same thing with AG. Okay, and then I want to find lines perpendicular to CD and containing point A. And so I have point A, it needs to be perpendicular to it, so it's going to intersect CD at a right angle, and I see that happens right here. Okay, now for this last one, I want to find the planar planes parallel to EFG and containing point A. So, first I'm just going to look and see what is my plane EFG. So, EFG, that is this bottom rectangle down there. And so, for it to be par a plane to be parallel, it needs to never intersect that. So, that really only leaves this plane up here. And it does contain A. And so remember, when we're naming a plane, we just choose three points on that plane. And so I can choose any of these three points, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose A, B, C. But you could have done B, C, D, C, A, D, whatever order you want. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try and look at that next picture and answer these same types of questions. Okay, so these are the answers that you should have gotten for number two. So line parallel to the GH containing point F. Here's GH. And so the only one that would work is going to be FE. For a line skewed to GH containing point F, my, I only have three options of lines that contain point F, and I see that FG and FE are both on the same plane as GH, and so that really only leaves FB. And that's the only one that doesn't intersect GH, but it's also not parallel to it. And then for lines perpendicular to GH containing point F, that's going to be FG. There really should have been a box here telling you that it was a right angle, but you can kind of see it in the picture as well. And then for a plane parallel to plane GHD, that is this entire plane right here, that is going to be this plane right here. So I chose the points FBA, but you could have chosen any three of those points in any order. Okay, that's it for this video. You can go ahead and move on to the next one where we'll be talking about transversals and pairs of angles.